The next story is typical, but it's never been told on television before. According to three Canadians, two school teachers, and an electrical engineer, it happened one warm spring night in 1988. They were camping in Alberta. We'd been playing cards and sitting around the campfire, and I decided that I was very tired. So Scott and I grabbed our toothbrushes and started walking down the path towards the washrooms. I had a very uneasy feeling that there was something ahead of us on the trail. We heard a noise, and this grunt can only be described as uh, like the grunt of a bull. Our eyes focused on the silhouette of a very large creature standing about six feet in front of me on the trail. Susan came tearing back down the path, past us to the cars. I was running to the car. Sue was running to the car. We ended up in the same car together um, and with the doors locked. This creature walked out of the darkness into the direct beam of our headlights. It strode purposeful into the bush, uh, took about four seconds uh, as it crossed the beam of our headlights and disappeared into the, uh, into the forest. This creature was eight to nine feet tall. It was standing straight up. I went from uh, being a total non-believer to a total believer in the Sasquatch in the space of about four seconds once those headlights came on in the car. I know enough that what I did see was in fact Sasquatch. People say to, say to me, where's the proof? And I, I don't know where the proof is. All I do know is if you'd seen what I saw that night, you'd be a believer too. Every time we go, we travel as a family to the mountains or if I'm on my own uh, going on a ski trip, you just look at the mountains and you look up there and you know they're up there, that a place that you thought was pretty much barren has some living creatures up there that we never dreamed existed.